play baseball growing up? I did up until uh, a little bit in high school, but I mean, I just pitched and I didn't like hitting. Oh, it was really? either pop flies or strikeouts. That's about it. Seems like you do well just now. But. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what happened over the last four years. I mean, I, I can shoot in <laughs> basketball now. I couldn't shoot. And then I couldn't I couldn't hit in high school. Now I can hit, so I don't know what's going on. Get it to your prime. Yeah, I guess. I guess, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, as you guys go into this year, um, fairly young locker room as far as the Titans are concerned, as you yourself um, paid for the shot. Talk about a little bit what school you can bring to a big, for sure. big Ten guy. Yeah. You know, how, how much you're looking forward to playing with. I mean, it just kind of shows us having all Big Ten room right now. And, I mean, that's the best. I think that's the best conference that has the best tight ends. I mean, I mean, every guy coming out of the Big Ten is reliable. Uh, Schoon, I'm, I'm excited to see him in the room. I'm excited to meet him, see what he can bring to this room. I'm, I mean, Four Horsemen just added another one, you know what I mean? So it's going to be exciting. And you talked about having that big brother relationship with Dalton. Now that he's not going to be part of that locker room dynamic, how do you step up into being that big brother? Right, I think I think it uh, kind of builds itself into that. Um, but at the same time, I'm just going to be me. And I think that's what's powerful about our tight end room is everybody brings their own personality. and. Nobody has to kind of put on a front. They're kind of who they are, and uh, that kind of brings our tight end room closer. And uh, Coach Wells, I mean, he does a great part in kind of bringing that culture together and bringing our tight end room together. As far as being the, the best version of, of Jay Ferguson, what have you been kind of working on in the offseason to try to focus on leveling up for year two? I think just maturing, um, whether it's in between the lines, um, footwork, and just learning the, the little details and stuff and how um, I can beat those guys who, who are going to be there, I mean, every week. Um, it's not just one guy, it's going to be a good guy I'm going against every time. And I think maturing and realizing that I need to be perfect on my, my technique and everything I do. Um, and that's just kind of how I've approached this offseason and getting my body right and just kind of trying to fit that mold. Carson talks about a second year jump. What's a second year jump for you? Yeah, I think it's, like I said, uh, fitting into that mold of um, kind of being the leader of the room. and. Um, but also showing through my actions, throwing, showing through my play, and um, I think that's kind of where it starts is um, in between the lines and my work. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Have a good one, y'all. Yeah.